welcome to another episode of The Bold and Beautiful. Hope and Brooke discuss things at the office and says it must be hard for Steffi. She was brave. Then Steffi walks in and Brooke thanks her for what she did. We then see Finn looking at the article of Sheila's debt. Over at Deacon, Sheila and Deacon are at home. She wants to have fun, however Deacon is not interested. Sheila tells her Deacon tells her that time is running out. Sheila laughs it off. Deacon says their relationship can't work. We go back and we see Finn reading the article about Sheila's death and then Detective Sanchez arrives to visit Finn. Back at Forrester, Brooke and Hope goes off about Thomas to Steffi. She says she is em- Steffi says she is embarrassed and horrified at what Thomas did. Brooke says that she is grateful for what Steffi did. Steffi tells Brooke she didn't need to thank her. She did it for her their pa- her parents. Brooke says there will be no marriage after this. Steffi believes her father still loves her mom. Then Brooke starts to criticize Taylor for not telling Ridge. Hope claims that she's surprised that Taylor would do that and be quiet. Steffi just rolls her eyes at them. Back at Deacon, Sheila wants Deacon to lighten up, but Deacon is facing reality, tells Sheila that she will end up in prison, says that he will walk away. Sheila says that she will walk away a free woman, says everyone thinks that she is dead. Finn says that he just doesn't accept that Sheila is dead, and he gets Sheila's toes. Back at Forrester, Steffi asks them to stop judging her mother. Steffi gets a text and says that she will miss the meeting, and she rushes off to the hospital to see Finn. We then see Thomas enters the office and sees Brooke. Thomas is bold with no regrets. We then see Steffi goes to see Finn at the hospital and she's looking curious as she sees Detective Sanchez. He shows her the toes and says he will be getting some answers. Back at the office, Thomas tells Brooke that the wedding will still happen and blames Brooke for screwing him up as a child when Brooke asks what is wrong with him. Brooke tells him he doesn't care about Tom Brooke tells him that he doesn't care about his parents at all. He is only doing this because of his fantasy life that he wants. Thomas says that he will not apologize for what he did and he has no remorse. Brooke claims that she is worried about Thomas and tells Thomas that he will pay. Back at the hospital, Finn tells Steffi that the cut at, at Sheila's toes is too clean. Sheila is alive. Thanks for watching. Bye.